William Wallace, or Sir William Wallace, from 1270 to the 23rd of August 1305, was a Scottish knight who became one of the main leaders during the First War of Scottish Independence. Along with Andrew Murray, Wallace defeated an English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge in September 1297. He was appointed Guardian of Scotland and served until his defeat at the Battle of Falkirk in July 1298. In August 1305, Wallace was captured in Rob Royston near Glasgow and handed over to King Edward I of England, who had him hanged, drawn and quartered for high treason and crimes against English civilians. At the old parish church in Rutherland, South Lanarkshire, where the Scottish nobleman Sir John Monteith met with English knight Sir Amir de Valence to plot Wallace's capture in 1305. Valence, the Earl of Pembroke, is said to have persuaded Monteith to betray Wallace for gold, lands and the underlying gratitude of England's King Edward I. Menteith later earned the nickname the Fawz Menteith, the false Menteith for his part in this. It was after Wallace's death, when Scotland finally won its independence, after the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314, led by Robert the Bruce. The old parish church is still in existence today, off Rutherglen Main Street and the traitor's tower is still very visible. Here is an image of how the traitor's tower may have looked back then. This is the place where Menteith planned the betrayal of Wallace on the 5th of August 1305. On Wallace's journey back home after the battle, he stopped at a well located in Rob Royston near Glasgow for some water. It is said he often visited this well on his many journeys. It is just a short distance from the well where Wallace was captured. And there now stands a monument marking the spot.